In May 2018, 20-year-old Angus Chance was training for Sydney semi-professional football side Dulwich Hill. I did love my football at Dulwich Hill. Uh, there was a lot of like friendly people there and I made a lot of my friends through playing there. Angus went off to training and he was in a really good mood because it was my birthday. Three visiting Japanese players were also there, trialling for the club. But about an hour into training, a teammate of Angus's lost his patience with them. I heard the word f***ing Japanese I know that I heard it and that's what I will say. Angus told the player to stop being racist. A few more words were exchanged and pushed me to my neck. I probably said something else. Uh, back at him as a reaction of being pushed and then that's where I was hit to the left side of my jaw. Angus had been king hit and was lying in the middle of the pitch. Instead of an ambulance being called, Angus was driven by a teammate who was a pea plater down a busy Sydney street to his home. I went and pulled down the mirror and I was like, oh my God, like this is a lot worse than I thought it would be. The jaw was broken in two places. There was a lot of damage to my teeth. His face is split at the front and it was one of the most horrific sights I'd ever seen. Uh, my teeth are not good. I've got permanent numbing on my bottom lip and the gums under my teeth, and a lot of structural damage. The perpetrator was charged with grievous bodily harm and said he king hit Angus because he was angered at being called a racist, himself having Jamaican heritage. He was sentenced to 20 months of home detention. I don't like to sort of put myself forward as some, you know, big, like, huge advocate who does that all the time, but I did what I did at the time because I felt it was right. Swelling, yeah. Angus is still suffering from the injuries today. But it's an ugly legal spat between himself and the organising body of the game he loves that is now causing him the most pain. I never wanted to be in a situation where three years later I'm, you know, still in the courts for something I'm trying to desperately put behind me. Due to the ongoing injuries suffered by Angus, his medical bills have topped $90,000. His family wants Football New South Wales to pay, but so far they've refused. Because things didn't work out in the first place, we had to get our own lawyers, which shouldn't have been necessary. The family has now launched legal action against Football New South Wales. My understanding was that everybody would rally around to sort the matter out so we can all move on, but it just hasn't turned out that way. They're being assisted by lawyer and former Liberal staffer, Tim James. As soon as I met with Chris, I had a deep sense of how there's something terribly wrong about what has gone on here. And I saw a father who uh, really needed help. The worst part, I think, is just the lack of human understanding and empathy and care for someone who they had held up as young player of the year, who clearly had a big future in the game. In a statement, Football New South Wales says, as with any insurance policy, there are limits on what is covered and the level of that cover. Where a player is injured or assaulted in a Football New South Wales sanctioned match or training session, Football New South Wales's personal accident policy will be available to the player, subject to the policy terms. That is very narrow-minded, short-term, self-interested thinking, to be frank. It is much, much more than an insurance dispute. Many within the wider football community are concerned with the precedent this sets for young footballers across the country, including for players who stand up for teammates who've been racially abused. I think that in a lot of ways, we have a sport of let them down. They've got to place the rights holders, those who have been harmed, at the centre of how they deal with these matters. And I think that that's a problem. Now 23, Angus is back playing for a different team. The weekend games are a distraction from the legal fight he never wanted. The sacrifices I've made because of football, the list would go on. 
football is my outlet as well and that's what it's meant to be. It's meant to be, you know, my escape from work, my escape from everything. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.